Good afternoon and welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the academic procession led by the Chancellor's ambassadors carrying the academic gonfalons of each college. Today's commencement party will be led by the Chattanooga Pipes and Drums, followed by Dr. Jamie Harvey, mace bearer, and Dr. Stephen Angle, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga Chancellor.
Please remain standing for the presentation of colors for the national anthem, and please join in the singing of the national anthem led by UTC students Emma Allen, Michaela Kyle, Will Lowry, and Nick Davidson under the direction of Dr. Kevin Ford. The colors are presented by the UTC Army ROTC, commanded by Cadet Samuel Fuller. Gentlemen, please remove your hats.
Please be seated. Good afternoon. I'm Gerald Hale, Provost and Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the 254th commencement exercises of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. As indicated in your program, the music for this afternoon is presented by the Chattanooga Brass Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Kenyon Wilson. The first composition, Enter the Gonfalons, was written by Dr. Wilson. Please join me in thanking him and the wonderful musicians for an outstanding performance. For your convenience today, we have captioning located above the stage. It's my pleasure to introduce the individuals joining me on the platform this afternoon who will not be introduced later in the program. I ask that each one stand as I call your name. Dr. Richard Brown, Executive Vice Chancellor for Administration and Finance. Dr. Brian Rowland, Vice Chancellor for Development and Alumni Affairs and Executive Director of the UC Foundation. Dr. Uh, Mr. George Heddleston, Vice Chancellor for Communications and Marketing. Mr. Mark Wharton, Vice Chancellor and Director of Athletics. Dr. Yancey Freeman, Vice Chancellor for Enrollment Management and Student Success. Dr. Jamie Harvey, President of the Faculty Senate. Dean Teresa Litka, Dean of the Library. Dr. Linda Frost, Dean of the Honors College. And the deans who will celebrate their undergraduate college's graduation at tomorrow's ceremonies. Dr. Valerie Rutledge, Dean of the College of Health, Education, and Professional Studies. Dr. Robert Dooley, Dean of the Gary W. Rollins College of Business. Dr. Joe Wilforth, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, and Dr. Michael Donqua, Associate Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Thank you. Good afternoon and congratulations, class of 2019. This is a unique day for you, and I'm proud and honored to share it with you. As one door of your life closes, many others will open and will introduce you to a world full of possibilities. The determination that has led you to this day will carry you into the future. Whatever awaits you, the time that you've spent at UTC to earn your diploma will serve you well. You've learned to be resilient, to overcome obstacles, to face difficult times, and to push through them. The diploma that you will hold in your hand is a testament to all that you have achieved as well as all you, that you can accomplish in your life. And who knows what great things you might accomplish. The prospects are unlimited. Be a teacher who inspires scholars and inventors of tomorrow. Create a business that propels us from where we are to where we can be. Discover new technologies or conduct research to carry society into a better future. You're capable of achieving any of these things and more. But you didn't reach this goal on your own. You were supported and motivated by family, friends, and classmates and they should receive some recognition for their efforts. Graduates, now is the time to show your appreciation for the help that you have received on your journey to this moment. Will all family and friends of a graduate please stand for our grateful applause. And it would be impossible to ignore the UTC faculty members who've been a critical part of your education and cultivating the determination that has led to your success. Members of our distinguished faculty, please stand and accept an expression of our appreciation. The 118 graduates today are a diverse and inclusive group. 13 are earning doctorates of nursing, education, or philosophy. Some of those earning masters will go into nursing careers, others will per pursue a profession in education, still others will enter the corporate world. There are graduates in social work, accountancy, and science. 
yet all are aimed at the same goal, to use their education as a bridge to greater things. In closing, you should be immensely proud of your efforts and accomplishments at UTC. The value of the diploma you have earned is incalculable. Take its promise and step into your future with confidence. Understand, though, that your advanced degree is more than just the result of the grades that you've earned and is worth even more than a college education. It's taught you determination, courage, and belief in yourselves. Combine those attributes with the knowledge that you've gained at UTC and you're virtually unstoppable. But graduating doesn't mean the end of your education. Keep your mind open to new ideas, new directions, new opportunities. Be brave and do not limit yourself in any way. I promise that in so doing, you will make your future even more spectacular. Thank you, and again, congratulations, class of 2019. <clears throat> it is now my honor to introduce Dr. Stephen Engel, Chancellor at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Dr. Engel assumed his role as Chancellor and the 17th leader of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga on July 1, 2013. Congratulations, graduates. I, I commend each and every one of you for all of your hard work and dedication. Let's give our graduates a round of applause. I'm honored to serve as your chancellor and have an opportunity to address our, you, our distinguished graduates, your family, friends, and our university community. Before I begin, I want to uh, echo the provost's remarks to thank our faculty for serving as marshals and those who are attending the ceremony today. Thank you for uh, being here. It's an honor to work with such fine educators. Thank you for all you do for our students and for this campus and our community. Thank you. Graduates, I hope you take pride in your accomplishments. When I started college, I was the first in my family to graduate from college with a bachelor's degree. And a graduate degree was something that was, you know, you must be from outer space. And so this is a big deal. And I commend you for what you've been able to do and to see something through. The obstacles that, and challenges that you faced You've done it. At times, I know when I was in a graduate program, I questioned myself, can I actually do this? And it was the faculty who believed in me and inspired me to work hard. And I know that you've had people in your life do that also. But don't underestimate what you've done. You've learned how to learn and how to solve difficult problems and to believe in yourself, and that is so important. You started something and you finished it. And no matter what you do after this, that will serve you well. As you move to the next phase of your life, I have two very short things I wanna convey that have helped me. First, embrace challenges. Take on the difficult problems and strive for excellence in everything you do. You can do it, you'll figure out a way. Success may not look like what you envisage when you start, but you will find a way to be successful. Always do your best or don't even bother. That's something my father told me time and time again. If you're not gonna do it right, don't even do it. Second, be sure to reach back and help those that are coming behind you, those that need a helping hand, those that need a door opened for them, help them. You'll be amazed at how your life will be enriched by trying to help someone who is in need of that hand and what you get out of it in return. The sense of accomplishment you gain from helping others is just as important as the dollar that you are going to earn in the job that you will pursue. That sense of helping someone is really priceless. Congratulations, graduates. I want to acknowledge your um, Graduate Student Association President, Haley Wilson, who will make some remarks in a few moments. 
<laughs> she is involved and engaged at UTC and represents you very well. And I want to thank her for all she does for um, UTC, for our graduate students, in addition to being a, a student herself. <clears throat> I wish you all great success in the future. I hope you continue to wear your power C with pride and stay in touch. This is your university, and you are the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. You're a mock, and you're going to be a mock for life. So go mocks. So it's now my honor to introduce this afternoon's commencement speaker, Christine Barakat Bennett. <clears throat> Not too many years ago, Christine was like our graduates here sitting in a commencement ceremony. She was receiving her postgraduate degree from UTC. After obtaining her bachelor's degree from Boston College and spending several years in the workforce, she matriculated to UTC to resume her education. She earned a Master's of Science in the UTC Industrial Organizational Psychology Program, a really demanding, difficult program with an incredible reputation, and Christine had a 4.0 GPA uh, as a student here at UTC. She was the recipient of multiple psychology internships and assistantships, and, and after her time at UTC, she left Chattanooga to work at the Home Depot corporate office in Atlanta rising to her current level as senior instructional designer. As a specialist in the discipline of learning and development, Christine has worked with partners from different backgrounds and job levels, focusing on design and development. Among her many accomplishments at the Home Depot, she has led the industrial design effort for the launch and sustainability of a two-year multi-course Enterprise Leadership Development Program for Managers. She's also collaborated with subject matter experts and business partners to identify leadership strategies and models and trends for enterprise-wide learning and development solutions. Her background <clears throat> includes working in public relations and in the nonprofit arena, as well as higher education. She enjoys writing, and her article entitled Leadership Development for New Managers Across the Enterprise was published in Training Industry Magazine earlier this year. <clears throat> Christine is joined today by her husband, David, and we're excited to have them both on campus again as Christine shares her story. Please join me in welcoming Christine Barakat Bennett. Hi, I'd like to start by saying it's an honor and a privilege to be here today. Congratulations to all of you. As you just heard, my name is Christine Barakat Bennett, and I'm a 2007 graduate of the Master's in Industrial Organizational Psychology program here at UTC, also known as IO Psychology. Try saying industrial organizational psychology several times in a row, it's a mouthful. Um, for those of you who are wondering what IO psychology students do, many people uh, graduate and work in industry doing things in human resources, whether it's generalist work, uh, talent management and development, designing selection assessments and um, tools, or a variety of other things. Some people will go on to get PhDs and do research and teach. My story is a little different than perhaps other graduate students' stories in that um, I grew up in Florida, I got my bachelor's degree in Boston, and then I worked in Atlanta for several years. And my background in psychology and my interesting work experiences are what led me to my master's degree here at UTC. And when I say interesting work experiences, I mean that I work for a successful company that closed down. Um, I experienced reorgs, I worked for a challenging leader, and I don't mean challenging in a good way, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, I witnessed the dot-com bust after I graduated from undergrad, and I read about stories and heard about stories of the downfall of companies like Enron and WorldCom. So I thought work environments are fascinating. What is it that makes certain organizations and leaders successful and others not? I don't have all the answers yet, but I'm working on it. Um, so anyways, all of this, like I said, led to me getting a master's degree in IOSyc. In IO psych. Um, I looked at a variety of programs, but when I came to UTC in Chattanooga, um, I really fell in love with the vibe of the program and with the city. 
Uh, me and my parents were um, brought around by Dr. Michael Bitterman, who was the program coordinator at the time. And he did a great job of showing us Chattanooga, introducing me to students at the time who answered all of my questions. So at that point, I pretty much decided I wanted to come to UTC. And a great bonus was that I got to skip out on Atlanta traffic for two years. That's a win-win, no matter which way you look at it. Um, and anyways, in many ways, my time here really flew by too quickly. Two years is not a long time in the grand scheme of things. Um, but I met great professors here who taught me a lot about my, that I, things that I use in my profession today. I met amazing fellow students who were from all over the country, actually, in our program, which I thought everybody would just be from Tennessee, but they weren't. Um, the IO program did have a great uh, network in the southeast. This allowed me and others um, to have a lot of internship opportunities and work experiences, which had been invaluable for me because I knew I wanted to go into industry. But it wasn't all hard work. I did have fun in Chattanooga, which is part of why I wanted to come here. I love hiking, so I hiked Signal Mountain, Lookout Mountain, walked the walking bridge like a million times. Um, hung out at places like Hair of the Dog. I think that opened when I was here. Um, <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't there too often, though, don't worry. And um, <laughs> went to the in-town Chili's and a lot of other great places here. Um, places better than Chili's. But um, <laughs> when it came time to graduate, I did end up back in Atlanta. I thought about staying here. Um, it just made sense for me to go back to Atlanta at the time, but I did visit many times after graduation. Um, I have to also thank Dr. Bart Wethington, who's no longer with UTC, but he sent me a job posting in my transition back to Atlanta for a leadership development position at the Home Depot. Based on my interests and the rest is history, I've actually been there ever since graduation. So like you heard, my focus has been on learning and development, instructional design, and leadership development. I also have to thank Dr. Brian O'Leary, who is still with UTC, for teaching my training and development course, which has also been invaluable for me. During my time at the Home Depot, I've had the opportunity to work for a Fortune 100 company, where I, along with a team of others, create learning and development solutions for 400,000 plus associates who work in retail stores, distribution centers, at our store support center or corporate office, who work in call centers and a variety of other environments. The Home Depot is a large, complex organization. Um, I have worked on projects for product knowledge and merchandising, operations, leadership development for the enterprise, our pros or contractors, and many others. Um, and as you know, um, a lot has happened in the retail environment in the last several years with the blending of online and in-store environments. Um, a lot of retailers have been hit by, by online, by the changes in online. Um, and last, there's been changes in the external environment. So when I graduated in 2007, uh, the economy was starting to take a dive with a housing market crash. And I felt really fortunate to get a position at the Home Depot at that time. But you guys are in a great position right now to enter the workforce. The economy's doing well. There's a lot of jobs out there. So enough about me. Let's get back to you all. I know you all are graduating from a variety of programs and have different background and experiences, and you're going on to do different professions. Um, hopefully, what I'm going to share with you will be helpful no matter which path you take. So here are some tips and lessons learned. First, one of the things that we teach in our leadership development programs at the Home Depot is the importance of values. So the company has values, and we encourage our leaders to continually use the values to guide them, particularly during situations that are complex when making decisions that aren't always black and white, which happens sometimes when you're leading people. I would also encourage you to use your personal values, to remember to use that throughout to help you make important decisions in your life. I anticipate that the most successful people and organizations will continually use their values to guide them. Next, remember why you decided on your profession, your purpose, why you love what you do. That may sound really strange to some of you right now as you're about to graduate, but I promise you work and life are going to be challenging as the years go on sometimes, and you'll want to really remember, why am I doing this? Why do I love this? At work in particular, there can be politics, changes, shifts in technology, and people coming and going. So um, focusing on the work at hand can be helpful. Next, um, sounds a little cliche, but build relationships. So I don't think you have to be the most outgoing person out there. If you are, that's great. But really figure out a way to build a connection with people at whatever level makes sense to you, whether that's collaborating well with others or building trust with those that you work with. And next, wrapping it up soon, is have fun. 
So keep it professional, though. So you know you need to get your work done. Um, this sounds a little strange, too, like go to work and have fun. I do mean that. Um, there's going to be times when work may be stressful or people you work with may be stressful or take themselves a little too seriously. So it can be good to find somebody who is lighthearted, makes you laugh, or to be that person for others. That can kind of make the time go by when work is challenging as well. And finally, find the balance between being both humble and proud of your accomplishments. Enough said. Like I said, I have many great memories of my time here at UTC in Chattanooga. I wish you all the best in your future, both in your personal and your professional life. I will leave you today with one simple quote by the author Robin S. Sharma. Leave your ego at the door and do some truly great work. Few things will make you feel better than a job brilliantly done. Thank you again for your time. Thank you very much for your timely and inspiring remarks for our graduate students. At this time, Dr. Joanne Romani, the Vice Chancellor for Research and Dean of the Graduate School, will come forward to present the candidates for graduation from the Graduate School. Thank you. Um, good afternoon and congratulations on all your accomplishments. This really is an exciting day for all of you and for all of us and your families. Will the faculty and the candidates for degrees from the UTC Graduate School please rise? Everybody, come on, up. Okay, good. Okay, it is my honor to present 118 candidates for master's and doctoral degrees. Candidates for the master's degrees include 10 College of Arts and Sciences, 43 Gary W. Rawlins College of Business, 23 College of Engineering and Computer Science, 21 College of Health, Education, and Professional Studies. Candidates for the doctoral degrees include two Doctor of Education, 10 Doctor of Nursing Practice, and one Doctor of Philosophy. At this time, Candidates for graduate degrees, please remain standing. Faculty, you may be seated. I'd like to invite Chancellor Engel to join me at the podium at this time. Here. Chancellor Engel, these candidates have met all the requirements for the receipt of their respective degrees and have been duly approved by their deans and faculties. By virtue of the authority of the State of Tennessee vested in the Board of Trustees of the University of Tennessee and by them delegated to me, I take pleasure in conferring upon you the respective degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, honors, and obligations pertaining thereto. Congratulations. You may be seated. Ms. Haley Wilson, president of the Graduate Student Association, will now offer her congratulations. Good afternoon, and congratulations to the students graduating today. As Provost Hale said, my name is Haley Wilson, and I've been incredibly fortunate to serve as the president of the Graduate Student Association this past semester. When I was asked to give remarks at graduation, I reflected on my time as a graduate student at UTC. Sorting through the memories of late night and early morning study sessions, study groups with my co cohort, and several crying phone calls to my mom, there is one conversation that stood out to me. It was a conversation I had with one of my peers during class last fall. We were discussing what made us want to go to graduate school and how our lives ultimately led to this decision of going back to school to gain a higher degree. After she explained her story to me of how she was now in her 30s, had experienced a full-time job, and felt like her life would be changed with another degree, 
she looked at me and said, I guess you can consider me an untraditional student. Immediately, I was confused by this statement. Untraditional? If she was untraditional, what is a traditional graduate student? One of the many things I admire about attending graduate school is I still do not know the answer to that question. Last week, I reached out to the students graduating here today. I asked them to share their experiences with me and what graduate school meant to them. Their responses were more inspirational than I could have ever imagined, and I would like to share their stories today. Charles Webb, a student graduating today with a degree in the UTC Engineering Management Program, graduated with his undergraduate degree here at UTC in 2010. In the summer of 2018, he told himself, no more excuses, and began his graduate degree. Charles was able to complete his degree within two years while also maintaining a full-time job. Charles said that completing his master's degree is a dream come true because this has been a decade in the making. Abdul Sheikh, a student graduating today with his MBA with a concentration in human resources, said he decided to attend graduate school because the job market has become very competitive and that having a higher education degree from a great institute like UTC will definitely make him stand out from the other candidates. He said his biggest obstacle was being able to balance a full-time job, school, and family. Another student graduating today who wished to stay anonymous decided to pursue graduate school because she wanted to have more career options. During her time in graduate school, she became pregnant. She took a semester off, but decided to continue her MBA because she said it would give her the brightest future for her son. She had her son last April, on the day of fall registration. She registered for classes not even two hours after giving birth while still in the delivery room. This student said, I was determined to finish my degree and follow through with the commitment I had started. She thanks UTC for believing in her and giving her a chance. During my time at UTC, the persistence and grit I have seen from my fellow classmates is astounding. I have seen some of them work 40 plus hours a week and still manage to show up every single day. I have seen some of them teach classes here on campus all day, use their 30 minute break to grade papers, and then come into a classroom fully ready to learn. I have seen my fellow students balance their home lives, graduate assistantships, jobs, and coursework. And while at times it could be overwhelming, they persisted. Thank you to the family members and friends that have supported the students graduating today. There is no way we could survive graduate school without you. Thank you to the faculty and staff at UTC that go above and beyond to make sure our journey here at UTC is unforgettable. And graduates, thank you for choosing to further your education. You have been an inspiration to me, and you will continue to be an inspiration. May you always seek new opportunities to learn, and may you always strive to be untraditional. Congratulations, and go Mox. It's now my pleasure to call on Mr. Richard Johnson, president of the UTC Alumni Board, who's joined us today to welcome you as UTC's newest alumni. Good afternoon, and on behalf of the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga Alumni Board, it is truly my privilege to congratulate you on your graduate degree. For those of you who did receive your undergraduate degree at another university, welcome to the family of UTC alumni. Today we are gathered to celebrate your accomplishments. Your hard work, dedication to continuing your education have prepared you not just for a job or another step in your career, but for a journey of lifelong learning. Your education does not end today, it has only just begun. As you leave UTC and set out to face new challenges in the days, weeks, and years ahead, remember that the UTC Alumni Board and Office of Development and Alumni Affairs are here to support you in very many ways. Please stay engaged with your alma mater. Get involved with the Gold Council, which is essentially the graduates of the last decade. 
Uh, also, we have many regional UTC chapters that are available to you as well. You spent several years working hard to earn the opportunity to walk across the stage to receive your degree. You have moved your tassels from the right side of your mortarboards to the left to signify your accomplishments and your change in status from students to alumni. Class of 2019, you have achieved a great milestone by your graduation here today. On behalf of the UTC Alumni Board, I wish you every success. Congratulations to our newest alums. Would Dr. Engel, the deans, and the marshals please take their positions? Ladies and gentlemen, to be respectful of all graduates, please you'll hold your applause until the end and then go for it. <laughs> Will recipients of graduate degrees please rise and come forward as directed by the marshals? The following graduates are receiving the Doctor of Philosophy in Computational Science, James Sutton Trimble. The following graduates are receiving the Doctor of Philosophy in Learning and Leadership, Jacob Robert Quilliams. The following graduates are receiving their Doctor of Education, Wadawa T.J. Battle. Izetta Willingham Slade. Harry Robert Walter the third. Ross Ian McKendrick Vance. The following graduates are receiving the Doctor of Nursing Practice, Sandra Lynn French. Susan Marie Hammond. Tammy Lewis.
Lauren McCartney Manzo. Colleen Riley Moss. <laughs> Kayla Nicole Norman. Monique Murray Rivers. The following graduate are receiving their degrees as a specialist in education. Kimberly Renee Bradford. Jeremy Antoine Finch. The following graduates are receiving their bachelor's, master's degree, excuse me, from the College of Arts and Sciences, Richard Allen Blanton. Tanner Duncan Gatlin. Elaine Ruby Gunn. Dale Jordan Hofling. Joshua Joseph Ryan. Thomas Michael Vowark. Elizabeth Sky Webb. The following graduates are receiving their master's degree from the Gary W. Rollins College of Business. Christy Diane Banks. Kyleen Oliver Beecham. Rose Berry. Mary Emmeline Bradford. Stacy J. Brooks. Krista Leanne Calkins. Joshua Aaron Cooper. Karen Nowak Cooper. Andrew Michael Frazier. Layla S. Ghazi. Daniel Gilwet. Kelsey Evelyn Giddens. Christopher Allen Gilman. Logan Herring. Shalis Lawson Hornsby. Ken Jones. Rebecca Ann Joseph. Alexander Benjamin Lee. Isabella Lotza Ortiz. Brandon W. McAnally. Ryan A. McCoy. Eden K. Murray. Jessica K. Patterson. Alicia R. Phillips. Elijah P. Ruder. Bargavi Sanku Tra Trabi. Abul Hanan Sheikh. Katrina Marie Sims. Christopher R. Turner. Rachel Noel Walls. Christopher Williams.
The following graduates are receiving their master's degree from the College of Engineering and Computer Science, Julimar Alvarado. Hafiz Mubasher H. Asim. Rabu Man Bujicharya. James Paul Griffin. Ahmed Mohammed El Mahi Ibrahim. Hannah Abdel Rahman Ali Karar. Saraj Prasad Kanal. Isa Yaha Ahmed Mohammed. Surab Sunil Patil. Bharat Alpa Patel. Charles S. Webb the Fourth. The following graduates are receiving their master's degree from the College of Health, Education, and Professional Studies. Adam Gregory Barfoot. Madison Marie Bynum. Cherie Ann Fresh. Michael Dexter Howard. Quinn Cortez Hughes. Stephanie Linda Johnson. Rebecca S. McMahon. Amy Catherine Penland. Brandy Nicole Persley. Rebecca Ellen Robinson. Catherine E. Sober. Sarah Elizabeth Taylor. Laura Caitlin Viles. And Jordan Edward Grant Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, after all of the hard work these graduates have put in, one round of applause is not enough. Congratulations, class of 2019. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of the marshals under the direction of Dr. Charlene Simmons who assisted with today's program. We also want to acknowledge the assistance of all the staff and volunteers who work behind the scenes to help produce commencement. If they would all please stand and accept our applause for their service this afternoon. And now I invite you to stand and join in the singing of our alma mater, the lyrics of which may be found on page eight in your program. And then please remain standing for the recessional led by the Chattanooga Pipes and Drums.